Hey guys, this is Aubrey with Bold Commerce. Today we're going to discuss how to use your product upsell app to increase sales on your Shopify store. This video is going to cover two different types of offers that you can run with product upsell. One is a targeted sale offer and the other is a free shipping upgrade promotion. So one great upsell offer you can run is what we call a targeted sale. And in this case, we're offering two products that go really well together. So a good example of this will be our Winnipeg Jets jersey. We're huge Jets fans here at the office. Um, so when a customer goes to purchase this jersey, they probably came to your website for with one specific product in mind, and it might have been this jersey. So they don't really have any other products that are at the top of their mind that they're going to want to purchase along in this order. But we're going to present an offer to them that will maybe um, incentivize them to, to add a little to their order total. So in this case, when I hit the Add to Cart button and presented with this Winnipeg Jets hat, Again, this is a complimentary product. It's a product that naturally customers understand would go along with the Jets jersey. Um, some good examples of complimentary products are a camera and a memory card, or maybe a pair of leather shoes and some leather cleaner. Uh, so these are, again, two products that work really, really well together. So I'm presented with this offer as a customer. I can press the Add to Cart button, and just like that, my store has an ad additional $26 in revenue. And both products are in my cart. So we'll talk really quickly about how we set this up in product upsell. So for starters, um, in step one, we chose to offer it on the add to cart button. Um, this is sort of a matter of personal preference. We usually recommend the add to cart button when we're upselling two products that work really well together. And again, the reason for that is because um, we, want, we want the customer to understand that the reason that we're offering them this offer is because we think those products make sense to purchase together. The jersey and the hat both show your team spirit. You're probably going to wear them to games. Um, so we're going to want to get that offer in front of them while they still have the jersey fresh in their mind, as opposed to if we put it on the checkout button. Sometimes they've waited a few seconds or maybe they browsed a little more on your website and they kind of forgot about the jersey. So if we push a hat on them, it just, you know, it, it looks like we're blindly uh, offering them something instead of offering them a really targeted personalized offer. In step two, um, easy stuff here, we have our internal title, hat upsell. Our offer title and our description are succinct and short, easy for customers to read. We're not confusing them with a whole bunch of text. This is a really simple offer. It's just a hat. You can complete the look with this awesome hat. Um, you know, if we want, we can go and discuss a little more about maybe some special pricing that's going on with the hat right now, some of the features of the hat. But we really want to keep this short and sweet so that customers um, have, have as few uh, or have, have little processing to do when they read this offer. In step three, we selected the jersey, or I'm sorry, the hat, because this is the product that we're offering uh, to the customers. Um, we, we really recommend that you do as few products in an upsell offer as possible. And the reason for that is for something called the paradox of choice, which is an interesting bit of consumer behavior. So it turns out that if customers have a ton of choices to make or, or just multiple choices, um, then they kind of get confused or they get worried that they're not going to make the, the correct decision. And so they just don't make any decision. They say, you know, I'm out of here. I don't need this anymore. And they'll decline the offer altogether. So if we have fewer products in there, in this case, we only have one. The only decision the customer has to make is, yes, I want the hat or no, I don't want the hat, as opposed to an offer with maybe four or five products where a customer might say, okay, yes or no, I want the hat. Yes or no, I want the keychain. Yes or no, I want the um, water bottle. You know, when they have to make all those choices, they kind of get dissuaded from making any choices at all. So we recommend as few products as possible. Um, one or two is really an ideal number here. Um, and we haven't checked any of these boxes here. Uh, we've discussed those in another video. They're not relevant to this offer. And we'll select an offer trigger as well. So again, we've been through this before. We're just picking the jersey. This is a really targeted offer. We usually want as few products here as possible, but that could vary based on what your product selection looks like. Um, we want really complementary products together again. So we don't want to just blindly offer every customer a keychain with their order in a targeted sale. We, we want products that work really, really well together. And so in this case, um, we have the jersey. We think the jersey is going to go really well with this hat. So that's what we're going to select for this product. And we'll save the offer and we are good to go. 
So another really great offer that you can run in your store is what we call a free shipping upgrade offer. And what's really cool about this is that we're motivating customers to spend a little more to hit a spending target that we want them to reach. So in this case, on my store, we offer free shipping over $150. Um, so if a customer purchases more than $150 in their order, then they get free shipping on their um, on their cart and so this is great customers love free shipping i mean who doesn't love getting stuff for free in the first place but free shipping is is something that's a really big motivator to customers um it's it's really easy to incentivize them to hit that target they just need to know it exists right so we're going to help um push them to that 150 dollars target using an upsell offer so if I pick my jersey again here, this is obviously $130, really close to $150. So they're almost there for the free shipping amount, but not quite. It's it's a little far away. Um, and if they don't find anything else they like, a customer is probably okay paying five or $10 for shipping for this. So if we hit add to cart here and go to checkout, we'll say I'm a customer. I've maybe browsed around a little more, haven't found anything I really wanted. Again, I'm really close to that threshold. If I hit checkout, this offer pop-up uh, appears and it says get free shipping, orders over $150 receive free worldwide standard shipping. Add another product to your cart and your order ships for free. Again, customers love the word free. If you tell them that they're getting something in return for making a purchase, I mean, obviously they're getting the product that they're purchasing, but um, if they're getting something additional for free, that's a great, um, a great way to show value to your customers uh, with their purchase. So in this case, the, this product that I picked is $25.99. We could pick a few products here. Um, we talked about the paradox of choice in a few other videos. That's less important here because we're not, you know, we're just asking them to reach the threshold, right? So if all of these products are over $20, we're showing them value really easily here. So if I add this to my cart, again, I can just click checkout just like any other upsell offer. And you'll see that I get free shipping over $150 and your shipping rates are set up in Shopify. Um, they would be the best ones to reach out to for more information on setting up shipping rates and, and price base rates and, and the like. So if I go to look at how this offer is set up, we'll go to edit it. So this one's set to offer when the customer is clicking the checkout button. So we talked about the add to uh, the add product to cart trigger being more ideal for complimentary products. The checkout button is better for um, kind of price based or blanket offers. So in this case, you know, it's, it's less personalized, but we're, we're still identifying that there's uh, maybe a desire for a customer to purchase something more. And so we're, we're offering it to them kind of as a last minute deal, like, Hey, you can get this. Um, you've, you've made all your purchase decisions. We understand that, but we have this one last thing that we think would be really great for you. So to set up the offer, um, this is again, standard stuff, uh, title and description. The product upsell is the hat in this case. Um, again, for, for a free shipping offer, it's usually not as uh, dangerous to offer a few more than one product. Um, again, maybe three or four. We don't want a really big list of products that customers are gonna have to choose from, but you can offer a few other, uh, maybe higher margin, low, uh, low priced items that uh, the customers might be able to pick and add to their cart. In the offer trigger, um, we've set up uh, this offer to only appear when the when the cart total is in a specific price range. And in this case, this is 125 to 149.99. Now, the reason I picked that is because my hat is $26. So if a customer purchases, um, you know, their group of items and their cart is within this 125 to 150 range, then if they add that hat, they're always going to get free shipping. There's no danger of them maybe having, you know, only adding one hat and it turns out that that hat isn't expensive enough for them to get the free shipping upgrade. So we want to make sure that um, A, this is set so that each of our products that we're offering will, you know, if a customer adds one of those products to their cart, they're actually going to get the free shipping. And then we'll also want to kind of coordinate that with the products that we're offering and make sure that they're all similar in value and that we know that if a customer adds one of those, um, their cart total will add up to be over $150 in this case. So that is a free shipping upgrade offer.